Everything you want in a network camera is all in the Cloud Camera 5000. It's HD, has pan and tilt, automatic day-night viewing, watch it from your mobile device, local recording, and best of all, it's quick and painless to set up. Here's how. But before we get started, let's take a look at what you get. Inside the box, you have the product documentation and CD, the Cloud Camera 5000, the power cable, and of course the Ethernet cable, the optional mounting bracket, the remote control that lets you pan and tilt the camera, and lastly, an optional external antenna. Now grab your camera and let's take a closer look. You have an Ethernet port in case you go wired, power connector, a digital in and out connection, audio out port, a reset button, a handy little micro SD card slot, an optional external antenna connector, and finally, a WPS button, but more on that later. And while we're at it, let's take a closer look at the remote. A privacy and calibration button, directional keys for panning and tilting, and a home button to take you back to center. Now setting up the camera is just as quick and simple as any other MyDLink enabled device. If you don't have WPS, start by connecting the Ethernet cable from your router and plug it into the camera. Then plug in the power. Once it's powered up, the camera will automatically align itself, so make sure that you're holding the base of the unit only. Then, grab the installation CD that came in the box and head over to your computer. Insert the CD and the setup wizard will automatically begin. Click start and then follow the prompts until you're asked if the LED on the front of the camera is green. If it is, click yes to move on. The wizard will find all the MyDLink enabled network cameras on your network. Select your new DCS 5222L camera and then you'll be prompted to create a new password for the camera. This password is to access the camera and not your MyDLink account. You'll be asked that later. Now you'll be asked how you want to connect to the network. If you have a WPS enabled router, all you have to do is unplug the ethernet cable or never have plugged it in in the first place, press the WPS button on the back of the camera, and then within one minute, press the WPS button on the router. Once a green light on the front of the camera flashes green again, the connection is made. Otherwise, we'll have to manually connect to your wireless router. Scan for nearby wireless networks and then select yours from the dropdown. Enter your wireless security password and then hit next to save the settings. In just a moment, the camera will connect wirelessly to your network. When you're notified, unplug the Ethernet cable from the back of the camera and then click OK. Now you'll be asked to join MyDLink, which gives you full access to your camera when you're away from your home or office, from a computer and even remote viewing from an Android or iOS device. Creating a new account is just as easy and only requires your name, email, and a password. But if you already have an account that you created with another MyDLink enabled device, you can use that same account. Just log in and let MyDLink do the rest. Once setup is complete, you'll be taken to the MyDLink website where you can log in and view the live feed from your camera, control the pan and tilt, and even set up more advanced settings like motion detection and SD recording. So let's take a quick look. From anywhere in the world, you can access all the settings on the camera as if you were at home. Just select the camera, then click on settings, then scroll down and click on advanced settings. You'll be asked for the camera password that you created earlier. The default username is admin. As you can see, you can move the camera left, right, up, down, and even diagonally. And clicking on the home button will bring you back to center. You can even change the steps, which determines how the camera moves with each click. Now click on setup from the top menu and let's take a look at some of the other great features. Click on camera control and you can move the camera and set up a new home position. And what's really cool is that you can add other preset positions as well. For example, a few clicks to the right is a view of the pool. Give it a name, click add, and you have a new preset position that you can quickly access with a single click. And let's check out SD recording. Enable it, and as you can see, you can set the camera to record just a snapshot photo or actual videos. You can even customize the recording resolution, frames per second, and much more. Motion detection is another really useful feature which allows for a lot of flexibility. But if you prefer a wizard to walk you through the steps, like us, D-Link's included a motion detection setup wizard to make it even easier. From the top left navigation, click on setup wizard, and then motion detection setup wizard. Follow the prompts and select the motion detection field of view. You can enable a number of notifications, like snapshots or video clips, and you can have them saved to an FTP server or emailed. You can even set SD recording for certain days and times, 
all according to the motion detected by the camera. So, like I said, everything you want in a network camera is all in the Cloud Camera 5000, also known as the DCS5222L. Thanks for watching.